Hey everybody, MAF Gig Econ here, and I got a video for y'all today talking about a Gig Econ scam. Now, I'm not sure how long this scam has been going on for, but I've seen some videos and some clips that I'll be showing you in today's video talking about the scam. Now, in this scam that you'll see, I'll be showing you how the scam works and I'll, from the shopper's perspective, I'll show you how the scam is in action from the um, customer's perspective. Now, the people who are part of these scams, or at least the ones that are shown in this video, are people who are not eligible to get on these apps. People who don't have vehicles, they either are renting these accounts or they are using multiple accounts. They got multiple phones and they're sitting in the parking lot waiting for deliveries and they may have either one or two people that are waiting in the parking lot and they got one or two people actually doing the deliveries that someone like me might be waiting in that same parking lot and I'm not getting any orders but this other person with two or three phones is getting orders and then they're either delivering them using multiple accounts or they are um, having someone deliver them while they wait in the parking lot for more deliveries. The scammers showcased on Reddit are using two or three man teams, each with their own login information. And while one shops, the other delivers. Uberlyft Phoenix actually caught some of these scammers on tape. Regular people that I see every day and they're the ones that can can get a shopping order every time somehow. And both of these guys have carts full of groceries with no ride. Here comes a car. Here comes a car. It's the other one with the tinted tail lights, the other little Hyundai. This is another 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 member of their crew pulling up. There they go, now they're gonna load it. Now they're gonna load it up. And I have no idea how long they were, they were sitting there before I pulled up from my last order. And if you wanna see the full video, make sure you visit his channel. Link is in the description below. Go support Uber Lyft Phoenix. Pretty scummy if you ask me. As you can see in this example, you have a driver who's out there waiting for deliveries at this Walmart or this store, and you got two people sitting on what looks to be a wall waiting for the driver to get there to deliver the orders, and they'll be there waiting for another order. And that's how the scam works. You have people who pick up the orders and then they wait for the driver, or you have someone like this example, Walmart employee allows this driver to pick up both deliveries with the Walmart app, which doesn't make any sense. Now, they could 
be picking up on two different apps. I have done that before, which could be what's going on in this example, but I don't think it is because on Walmart, because now you're scamming the system and taking a delivery for somebody else who would, would have a problem doing it. And it's a shame. Walmart is not supposed to give you um, two separate deliveries. So you pick up one, what they call on uh, Instacart, a batch. They won't allow you to get a second batch. I even seen stories where if I picked up my own groceries, like my own grocery pickup from Walmart, they wouldn't allow me to get my um, spark order slash batch. I heard that happen before. So you, have to, so you can't pick up both of them at the same time. You have to come back and either get your order or your batch. I've seen that happen before. So with this person being able to get two orders, two separate orders on two different batches, I don't understand why that um, Walmart employee allowed them to get two orders. They had one in the front seat and then they had one in the back. Makes no sense at all. So with all that said, let's get into the last two clips. I'm going to clip them together. It's showing the scam in action when you have to get a signature. Now, on certain Spark orders, you have to get a picture and a signature by the customer. So in both instances, the, um, the first couple, they go to the door, ask for the um, customer to come out. For the signature and the customer goes back and forth with them no, noting that the person that they expected is not the one who's um who's what? yes what's huh? your name hey uh, helen 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 brand Oh, because I was looking for Robin. That's who's supposed to deliver my yeah, one order. Helen, Hello. Uh, delivery for Mark. And what's your name? Frank Helen. You Helen? Yes. Oh, it said Robin. So are you Helen or are you Robin? Helen Frank. Oh, I need to call Walmart then because you're not the right person I was expecting. I'm afraid to open the door. Mm. Uh, okay. So where's Robin? Has the Signy. Yeah, but I, I'm signing for Robin. You're not Robin, right? You say you Helen. Oh, I no. No lo entiendo. Es de, es el delivery Walmart. Yeah, I know you delivery Walmart, but for Robin. No. Where's Robin? My driver's name is Robin. No, my name my name is Fran. Fran Helen. Oh, so you stole this account? Yes. Oh. It's a delivery. So I'm gonna call the police now because you're not Robin. <laughs> Signature. Uh, I don't speak Spanish. Okay. Mira que está en el door. Delivery en el door. Where's Robin? 
Come on. Where's Robin? actually doing the delivery because the couple now on most apps they want only one person to be doing this route or this delivery and that's it that's it nobody else with you to do your delivery I'm going to put with this is when the um, driver is confronted by the same customer asking to show them their ID they get up and run and leave because the cust that same customer wanted to make sure that the person who was delivering her goods was the same person that was on the app let me see your ID what let me see your ID My ID? Yes, your ID. I got you. So you just going to show your own ID and leave it? I'm about to call the police on you. Now, it is a shame that people are using fake IDs or identification or other people's identification or people are renting their accounts now when you rent your account or what's part of the scam when people do rent their accounts they're getting a percentage of all of the money made on that account so if they only want 200 of whatever you made for that week for example they'll take the 200 and give you the rest which is good because if you're not eligible for these apps, then that's a way to get work. But it's against the policy of all these apps. Now, what Walmart is doing to combat this, and they do this at VHO as well, where I used to pick up from, people would ask you for your identification, your ID, and check it with the account that you are using to make sure that you are the person who is picking up this delivery and they're starting to do that at Walmart as well for spark drivers so that they can combat this scam that people are using because we're using three or four apps at one location and they're not checking IDs then you're basically taking orders from other people who are doing it the right way now, I'm not sure about shopping orders with Spark, but I know that in certain locations where this is really big in that market where people are stealing or scamming the system and getting more orders than they should be getting at one time because of the scam. When they're picking up their Spark deliveries, not the shop orders, the actual deliveries, they're checking IDs and that's where that's how it should be. But. Not every app can do that. Check the ID of who's picking up the order and who's delivering it to make sure that they it's the same person. Now, once you leave at the door, someone else could deliver it that's not the person who is on the app and you wouldn't even know it. You just wouldn't even know it at all. But because... Um, people need to get signatures and all this other stuff for certain deliveries you will see that hey this is not the person I'm supposed to deliver it 
some people may not care as long as they get what they're supposed to get. But it's against policy to have people who are not associated with that account or not the person who's on that account to be delivering the items. That's all I got to say about that. But it's really taken away from people like me. Now, I haven't seen it in my market. But when you see that, oh, I'm getting a whole lot of orders on on X day. And those same deliveries or the same quantity of deliveries, good or bad deliveries, are not coming my direction. And this time last week, at the same time, I was getting berated with orders. It, it could be that or it could be bots that are doing the exact same thing. And it's a shame that you have people who are not eligible to get on these apps taken away from the people who are doing it the right way. So, man, if this was helpful to y'all about a, a new scam that's going on, make sure y'all punch that subscribe button, ring that sexy bell, and Hulk smash, Hulk smash, Hulk smash that like button. Because I'm gone like Mr. Vante Davis. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want I turn a business out of nothing in